Hello and welcome to Gigi, just a few hours away from the 40th run of the Breeders' Cup here at beautiful Santa Anita. We've got nine championship races on the Saturday. The highlight, of course, is the $6 million Breeders' Cup Classic, and it's one of the most open runnings of this race that I can remember. Bob Baffert has the favourite, that's Arabian Knight. He's a speed horse. If this track is riding to speed, he's very much the one to beat. He's drawn in 12. He and Saudi Crown are likely to push the pace here. It could just be that Arabian Knight holds on, or maybe they go so fast they set it up for one of the closers, which will bring Clapton into the mix, and also the Dubai World Cup winner, Ushba Tesoro. It's such an open race. I don't really have a firm opinion, but I'm going to assume it's going to ride quick, and therefore my tentative selection is the favourite Arabian Knight. Moving on to the turf, which is absolutely the race of the day. We've got August Rodan up against King of Steel, up against Master Dav. And I think everything here is really going to suit Master Dav. I spoke to Jim Crowley this morning. He said the horse has got more relaxed and more time he's spent here. They, of course, miss Champions Day. They wanted this firm ground, which they're definitely going to get. For me, he's the one to beat. He's very consistent. We do know August Rodan can chuck in the odd horrible run. And King of Steel, I'm really not keen on him on that tough, quick, uh, back up after Champions Day on the heavy ground there at Ascot. So for me, Mostadaf in the turf. The mile is fascinating because it looks like it's really between the fillies. Morge is favourite. She's unbeaten this year. She's been a, a wonderful filly for Saeed Bin Saroor, but she's tiny. There's really not much of her. Songline is a lot more impressive and has done some lovely pieces of work here this week. She's the pick for me. She won the Yusuda Kinem, beating some of the best colts in Japan earlier on this year. She just comes in for me with a different level of form. So very keen on her in the mile. The distaff is actually a fascinating race. Idiomatic comes here on that win streak. I think she's going to be extremely hard to catch. She absolutely destroyed them in the grade one spinster last time. She looks really smart. Adair Manor also comes here on, on the win streak. You have to seriously factor in her chances. But for me, it's Idiomatic is the one to beat in that one. The Philly and Mare Turf is really interesting. One horse who's impressed me perhaps more than any other this week is in spiral. The whole team are here from, uh, for her. Frankie Desori has been sitting on her most mornings. She did a beautiful piece of work the other day. I know she's up in trip here, but she comes here in great form, having won two group ones in her last two starts. Uh, I can understand why she's well fancied. A little bit of a long shot for you in this one, though. Didia won the grade two Rodeo Drive Stakes over this course and distance last time. Her connections are apparently confident of a big run, but for me, it's in spiral is the one to beat in that one stay with the fillies and the filly and mare sprint should go to last year's winner good night olive she's the defending champion as i mentioned there's not a lot of opposition she's very much the one to beat in that one the dirt mile of course one of the most popular horses in training here in the states is cody's wish and he's also the best horse in this race after sadly algiers was ruled out earlier on uh, this week national treasures is interesting as well uh, he's a preakness winner but he has been beaten three times since so cody's wish for me in the dirt mile just uh, a couple more to to look at the turf sprint one of the best stories in racing this year <clears throat> has been living the dream that wonderful set of connections that he has he's the favorite for the race deserves to be so it was a very good run last time in the the woodford uh, this is crucially over a little bit shorter and connections are very confident he's going to absolutely love conditions around here but a few more for you to factor in motorious is very interesting at a slightly bigger price and also arzak who beat living the dream last time i think uh, is quite a nice price here caravel defending champion also in here but i don't think things have gone quite as smoothly in her prep this year as they did last time one more race for you, the sprint. Again, uh, we've got a defending champion here in Elite Power. He's going to be hard to catch. He was beaten by Gunite a couple of starts ago, and I do really like Gunite back at the sprinting distance uh, for this one. But very much the buzz horse here in California is the Cowbred. He's called the Chosen Veron. He's won his last five, and he seems to be one that the locals are certainly rooting for. And I also think he has a winner's chance in that sprint. Hopefully, we found a couple of uh, the right ones for you. Enjoy Breeders' Cup 2023.